keep coming. Tanakwe, welcome to the dive. Now sometimes you can almost talk yourself out of doing a dive. It was cloudy on this day and a little bit chilly, so we almost didn't go, but we went. And on this trip I took four, count them, four cameras, two GoPros, a GoPro Hero 4, a GoPro Hero 5, these are both session cameras, and the DJI Osmo and the Fusion, so you're going to get video from four different camera angles in this video. This trip is also the final trip that you're ever going to see of that outboard motor, the Tohatsu 9.8. Did you ever wonder why I do this fancy time lapse thing here when we head out? That's because we're going so damn slow with that engine, it just it can't get the boat up on a plane with two divers, so it's, it's underpowered for, for what I need. And, and you're going to see in future videos that engine has been traded in and I now have a Parson 15 horsepower two-stroke outboard. So off we go and we're on to spot T. T for the three points, which is their secret but not so secret spot. And uh, we're there and there are some Chinese fishermen there uh, fishing off the rocks and we're sort of disturbing them. But to be honest, uh, only a moderate amount of fish here on this day. Chris is getting ready. So we're at the secret light dive location, which actually ain't that secret. See if we can shoot some fish here, I don't know.
Now Chris is more experienced at spearfishing than I am, so he's comfortable going down to slightly deeper depths, and he's going down and he's seeing fish, but for me, not so much. I'm really struggling to find anything here, and the water was pretty murky, so I wasn't really happy with the visibility. Six centimeter motion shot by Chris. Damn. So I'm hopping out and I give Chris a few more minutes to try to shoot a few more fish and just have a swim around. And uh, yeah, trying to manage space on the boat with the amount of gear that we're going to bring on this little wee boat. Uh, it's a bit of a mission and uh, it's something that I'm working on for the future. After a spot tee, we're leaving it and heading off to the slightly little bit more secret spot W, which is uh, a mysterious location inside of Akaroa Harbour. Which is very difficult for you to recognise because you're having to look at the 360 camera.
Did you see that? Did you see that? That's the epic fail. That's trying to climb out on the boat and you're not putting in enough effort. You haven't, haven't eaten enough wheat vicks and it's like, oh, I've got to get myself out. got to get myself out. Now, I'm pulling myself out and I've actually pulled up a couple of powers here. But the, the GoPro battery has run out. I found the good patch of powers and no dive footage. Oh. oh man, that really sucks. It's just... Oh. You know... I couldn't get the good dive footage because uh, GoPro just ran out of battery power. Man, there's a good patch of power over there. Ooh! Biggest bottles I've ever shot, that. That's a fucking horse, that. Jeez, that's a donkey. Look that's at that thing. That's a fucking horse. Yeah, right, I'll get him with you. Bloody hell, look at the size of that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Starting off round three, the sun has finally broken through the clouds. We've got sunshine now. Got a nice of fire there, hey? With video footage from four cameras, editing this video has been an absolute nightmare. But the cool thing is, you can see Chris here, you know, you leave some of these cameras recording and you get this cool footage of Chris popping up and taking the butterfish off the spear, putting it in the catch bag. So, yeah, it's certainly a memorable video and, um, yeah, as I said, it's a nightmare to edit, but it's a cool video.
So with the sun coming out and uh, us moving into a different part of the harbour, we've got clearer water now, and it's just a question of getting down, spending some time amongst the kelp, and just waiting and looking for a decent wrasse, or looking for a decent butterfish, or a mochi, or something decent to shoot, and something will come along. Did you see that me holding onto the float boat there? Yeah, that was cramp. This was the first time I've ever experienced cramp whilst diving, whilst spearfishing. I've heard other people speak about it before and it was a nightmare because you've got to try to stretch out your legs and you know, you, you ain't got anything decent to sort of hold on to. You're doing it in the water. Very difficult. But at this point in the time we've pretty much got what we came to get, we've got to really go through everything, we've got to go through the fish, got to go through the powers, uh, have a count up, have a measure, because you know, MPI are waiting for you at the boat ramp. And you're not actually going to see it in the video, I didn't film it, but MPI were, in fact, there. And they did, in fact, check everything and inspect us, but that's good. Oh, yeah, we're just getting out there. Successful dive. Yeah, two divers. Oh. Whew. Ten powers. Oh. So is that a personal best for you, that one? Nah, uh, well, it's pretty, I don't remember shooting a big one. Well, I'm trying to get this off nicely, but... <laughs> ah, it's on keep the way. Look at that. That's the 46 centimeter blue mochi. And Chris got a little head shot, looks like. Yep, right behind the gills. Going to measure the PB RAS. 370. 370 millimeters. Monster. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, look at the teeth on him. 